Hello. How are you doing? Hi. All right. What are you? Working, work, working on masks. You know, putting those things together. You know, like pairs. You know, to be easy for you to sew. Let's see. Okay. Okay. See? Putting two by two. Two by two. Mm. <laughs> I don't think it's the way it goes, but... Yeah. Thank you. Sure. You have to now do your side. See, I have, I have something similar <laughs> here. Okay. So I cut the pieces already and also Jude's helping me to to put two and two together with the pins because it will make my life easier. When we get here at the table, I still have all the pieces cut. And this is my pattern. This is a different style. It's the fitted, uh, it's the fitted mask. Let me see. Okay, so this is the final mask, the fitted one. And here is the channel where oh, I will insert the elastic. And I'm using white. And here, start already sewing the, the white part, which I use as a lining. So as you can see, if you do chain sewing, you actually are more productive than uh, not uh, taken one by one so no interruption just zoom, zoom. and uh, yeah so this is a part which I started already as you can see first I sew two parts together front to front and then I top stitch and I have here the lining I mean it can be used on both sides obviously and then whoop. Let me do it. I'm trying to. Can you hold this just one moment? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Much Let's better. See. Is that what I have to show here? Okay. So you put top to top here, stitch to stitch. And whoop, I think it's out of focus. And first you sew the top part on both sides. You cut the fabric a little bit here to give to let, give it some space because right right here it's tight now but if after you sew if you clip it it's gonna be easier so this part then you sew the bottom then you turn it and where is it so after you turn it don't move I, i'm gonna come where the camera is thank you so after you you turn it, you top stitch the top and the bottom, and then you bring the fabric over because you have to have here the channel where you're gonna put the elastic. Okay, let me see if I have one down here. Uh, well, this is, okay, this is another one which I, I made. Stop it. But this one, I actually had some elastic and I was able to just sew it here at the ends. But since I ran out of the elastic and now I'm using uh, this very thin elastic ribbon, uh, once you put the needle through it, it's over, it breaks. So that's why I ended up doing this type of masks. With the and channel. Yes, right the channel and you're good to go. If you want, you can have this made without closing here the bottom and then you can insert um, coffee filter or um, a mask if you want a regular medical mask like like this one okay that's it bye from the Pearson sewing mask and my helper here you already sewed <laughs> <Hi>. me <laughs> okay bye. all right that's it